I mean, uh, at that time, uh, see, when you go to an Olympics, people don't realise that it's that one thing that brings everybody together. And Army, Vietnam, I mean, that's a, that's a, a conflict, fighting other people. And, um, you know, like it's... Uh, It's, uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, years after I'd come back from Munich, I, uh, there was a Russian uh, ballet, uh, a, a Russian uh, entertainment uh, at one of the venues, uh, at one of the theatres. And so me and my wife went, and I thought, oh, well, I actually got tickets to go. So I wore my blazer from the Munich Olympics and in the lapel badge I had a returned serviceman's badge and they, uh, at that time, the way communist was, there were all these people out the front, uh, you know, the hecklers and this guy saw me go in with a returned serviceman badge. I mean, because we were fighting the Vietnamese and they were pro-communist, See, back in the 60s, uh, that hate against the uh, communists, uh, I mean, that's the whole reason we went to Vietnam was the domino theory, that China or the communists were going to take over Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Thailand, and then come down to us. And, and that way of thinking, the people don't realise that uh, I had a... I, I had a blazer on with a coat of arms representing Australia in one of the biggest sporting events in the world and all they could think of me being a returned serviceman, you know? They, they don't realise that I fought a Russian. When I was in Mexico, I actually wrestled a Russian and, I, I mean, he, come f he was second in the European Championships in the European Championships and